Hi and welcome to Bunkai of the Month for July 2011. This month we've got an application from the open sequence of GTA Kata. Okay, this is quite an interesting application. Um, I always find this cutter quite unique compared to the other ones. It's got some really strange characteristics to it. Uh, this is an application against uh, someone who's kind of trying to grab both limbs. So say for instance, um, guy's arms up in the guard. I need to get to the head, so I'm gonna try and pull, the, take all the limbs and pull them down, okay? Or take all the limbs to control the arms uh, if they're coming in towards me. So. If, if Stu takes all of both limbs this way, like I say, he's either going to want to pull these down so he's, he's got a window to attack, or it could be that I'm trying to, to strike and Stu's trying to stop me. Okay? Either way, he's got all both arms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back into cat stance, which is going to drop his, uh, drop his shoulder forward. I'm going to roll his hand underneath. Okay? Now these arms will probably be constantly moving anyway because I'm going to try and strike through. I'm going to get this position here, cross his arm over, and I'm trying to work against the thumb on both joints. So if I go against the thumb on this hand, I'm going to release the grip. Same on the other one as well. So if I'm here, what I'm attempting to do is cross this one over, and you can see from here, I'm popping out of that grip there. So I'm using the other arm to help um, escape that grip. This right hand, again, is escaping the grip in this direction, so I'm popping out this way, all right? So what I do is I, is I twist this and I pull it back to my to my hip like in the in the cutter. On twisting it, that's going to open that grip up and help me to escape. At the same time, I'm, I'm escaping out this other one as well. So the actual movement itself is to come around, wrap this over and pull back towards the hip. And this is this uh, the function of this this movement here in the in the form. All right. Once I'm there, I'm going to twist around and grab hold of that top arm. Okay. So I'm coming from here across. Escape out, twist and grab. Okay, then I step 45 degrees like the cat does to this position, lift this arm down and this one up. This movement, so that's this part of the form. Okay, pulling one arm down and the other one up. So we're here, across, escape, step to my 45 degree, twist the arm, and lift up. Okay, take him onto his toes. Then from this position, the form goes from here, pulls this arm down, then this one up. So I'm coming from here, I'm going to scoop this arm down and through, all right? When I do that, that's going to bring his head down towards me and expose this side of the, uh, the, the head, all right? So I've come from here, pull down, twist, and this is where the, um, the reach hand comes in, all right? Then from here, I'm going to step through, I'm going to press just on, on the middle of his jawline there, okay, to, to turn the head as I step through to take down, okay? So I'll just show that take down the other side. So I've come from here, Step back, escape, 45 degrees step, turn this arm, and bring this arm up here. Twist to bring the head towards me and strike. Okay? And again, even though we're, we're striking with, um, with the ridge hand, it could be anywhere along this arm. So if the head's coming closer, it could be hitting with the forearm here. Okay? Anywhere on here is fine. Then we're going to step through, push against the jaw, and step forward into Shikodachi, which is the function of this movement here in the form. And a push to take over. All right. So one more time from there. From here, come around. Arms up, come around. Pull his hand back to the hip, and then take all of this limb. Step forward as the cat does. Up. Okay. Pull down to strike. Press onto the jaw. Step through, and then take down the finish. Okay. So there's quite a few, a few uh, movements in there. Uh, to look at, but essentially you're working on these basic principles of how to escape risk from wrist grabs, how to attack the joints, okay, how to manipulate the body so that when you pull on the limb it brings the head in at a certain angle, and then again exploiting that uh, from the takedown to finish, okay. So it's just a simple application from GTEC Hatter.
Okay, so there's another application you can have a little mess around with. Um, if you want more information about uh, my unfortunate bunkai, you can check out my recently published book and DVD. Both of those are now available on Amazon.co.uk. Uh, just click into Amazon and do a search for Chris Denwood and you'll find both those products. Okay, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.